and let us all that we can to build a better future. The internet is a powerful tool. And yes, I believe it can be used for good. And yeah, there are evil people on the internet too uh, who have used the internet for violence and horror. And sometimes the internet can be used for stupidity and people can fall for tricks. That's right. Now, this story is a day old, but I think it's important to all of us, for all of us to understand just how powerful uh, people can, uh, or just how powerful the internet is in which people can be convinced that something is real. Now, eventually, everyone realized that it was fake news, but... There was a tweet that came out. It was AI-generated images of Donald Trump himself getting arrested. A flood of memes, a full flood of fake news. So so uh, former President Donald Trump wrote on Truth Solo this Saturday that he was due to be arrested in Manhattan on Tuesday and urged his pro uh, supporters to protest, which is a Trump that didn't work too well out for you on January 6th, all right? Trump's prediction didn't pan out, but a flood of AI-generated images fulfilled his prophecy, going viral as an ironic joke and misinterpreted by many as sincere. So there was probably a lot of vote blue, no matter who people, who were, as soon as they saw these images, and images like this, such as this right here. Hold on, let me go ahead and uh, get a better tab of this. As soon as people saw images of this, where, hey, here's, uh, here's Trump. Being arrested as if Trump could actually do something like this. And let's face it, there's three legs there. I guess Donald Trump truly is huge down there. <laughs> there's Trump running. There's Trump fighting the police. Uh, oh, look, there's 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 Trump also going there. So again, so many people were again, there were people who were buying into the lie. Uh, the most popular images are historically uh, are hilariously dramatic, showing Trump tackled by law enforcement, winded during a struggle. Uh, my personal favorite shows Trump running away from his captors. So there you go. Now, of course, this image is clearly fake. That is from Forbes because Trump doesn't seem the sprinting type. The former president famously believes the human body contains a finite amount of energy like a battery and thinks that working out erodes that energy. Uh, chronologically, online Twitter users and AI hobbyists likely recognized the images as fake at first glance, but others did not. Anecdotally, many of my family members, young and old, initially believed the pictures were real and were confused why Trump's arrest didn't make the news. Again, a lot of vote blue, no matter who people probably fell for this. We're like, yay, Trump got arrested. Woo! Here we go. A little bit more of this. So there you go. I also want to pull up a little more of this. So here, let's, let's actually share this again one more time, just so all of you can see this. Again, images of Trump being arrested. There's Trump's three legs. There's Trump running. Trump fighting. Trump being dragged. But continuing on. As per sources on the ground, Trump has taken command of the NYPD and has become the undisputed warlord of Manhattan. So that means he can finally he can finally shoot somebody on uh, Sixth Avenue and not get arrested. And there you go. There's Trump as Pikachu. So the images were generated by Midjourney, which uh, recently released an update that significantly boosts its capacity to create convincing fakes. This is rather frightening. And some of these uh, Star Wars videos that I've been playing, you know, that's uh, chat GP or it's actually more of a uh, uh, chat GPT uh, where, again, you know, famous celebrities and actors and politicians voices can be used uh, to convince people that what they're saying is true. I mean, the technology is getting pretty scary. Uh, there are a few obvious red flags when it comes to AI-generated images. The AI used to struggle to depict human hands. Any artist can tell you that detailed hands are very difficult to draw. Uh, missing distorted limbs along with extra fingers and teeth used to imbue uh, AI-generated images with an eerie, uncanny quality, uh, as though a shape-shifting demon from a horror film was trying to mimic the human form. So there you go. It's, it's, it's starting to become very real. The technology is getting frightening. So I do feel sorry for people who will be easily tricked uh, by the amount of, uh, well, just how, uh, just how much big tech will be improving itself. And look, it's 
for me, it's it it is concerning. Um, I know that all of us are probably going to see things get worse as the 2024 election cycle gets nearer. We're going to see more propaganda and more fake news and fake images impact social media. And one of the consequences of this is that you could see some overzealous politician, be, be they Democrat or Republican or some jag off pundit on corporate media, uh, start saying we need to regulate speech more. We need to start regulating social media more. I think it's important for us to realize that things are getting this bad it's because of the politicians that created this environment in the first place and how they severely divided so many Americans. And the fact that there are a lot of Americans and people who thought that those images were real, the fact that it convinced anyone that it's the truth and there was no mention of it on mainstream media should tell you really people's attention span and really also how easily people can be convinced on the Internet. Keep your heads on a swivel and always double check and triple check. Do not fall for the propaganda or any BS on the internet. Always be self-aware, folks. So there you go. Uh, let's see. We got people saying question everything. Will of Black, why deep fake something that actually happened? <laughs> Uh, bad cookies, great reference. You guys ever see the old movie Wag the Dog? It's a bad movie, but the moral is what was important there. Absolutely. Soul construct, semper fi to you too, my friend. Yeah, it, it is, it is, it is rather frightening that all of us can easily be susceptible to lies on uh, corporate media. Yeah, and again, you know, they did a very convincing job with some of those photos, but again, it's uh, it's it's it just uh, it's. It's just disheartening, you know, because even I had some friends saying, hey, did you hear Trump got arrested? And my heart sank. I'm like, oh, no. And you too, my friend. <laughs> At two, Brutus. Bad Cookies writes, that Nigerian prince is going to send me that money any day now. So let me guess. He told you you, you got to send in your social security number and you'll get a surprise. <laughs> yeah uh, the trump thing yes so there you go folks it's it's madness and stupidity all around <laughs>